Hello everybody, I'm Mantis Mavic, and today I'm heading to the Rhinebeck Aerodome Air Show. There's going to be World War I biplanes and triplanes there. It's a great setup and reenactment of World War I. The Rhinebeck Aerodrome Museum is a museum east of the Hudson River. This museum, found in Dutchess County, New York, houses planes from the Pioneer Era, all the way to the golden ages of flying between 1919 and 1939. The pioneer era of aviation was between the creation of the first plane made by the Wright brothers and the beginning of the First World War. The Rhinebeck Aerodrome Museum was founded in 1966 by Cole Pollen. Cole Pollen had collected many planes before the creation of the Aerodrome. Since you know the history of the Rhinebeck Aerodrome, let's head into the present day. The Rhinebeck Museum is split into two different parts. There's the west side and the east side. On the west side, there are four different buildings. There's one gift shop and three hangars. On the east side, there's a runway where all of the World War I and some World War II planes took off. The plane that you are seeing right now looks to be a Sop with Dolphin, which is a 1917 biplane. Next is a red biplane that is landing and now is being guided back to the hangar along with the white biplane from before. Next is a German biplane with a Mercedes engine, which was one of the best options that the Germans had during World War I, as it went about 150 miles per hour, which at its time was pretty fast. It was very reliable, and it was easy to run. After a successful land by the German biplane, the next plane that we're checking out is a very old Blériot XI, which stands for six. It was a French-made plane and was used by Louis Blériot to be the first person to fly over the English Channel. It was a huge success because it was one of the first planes made in the Pioneer era. It was one of the first monoplanes to be invented in the pioneer era of aviation. One of the cool parts of this air show was between the planes taking off and landing, there'd be little skits that the actors would do, and there was the Black Baron, who was an alter eagle of Cole. The Black Baron was loosely based on the Red Baron. The Black Baron wanted to steal Trudy True Love away from the love of her life, and in doing so, she tries to escape and lands on a biplane. In that last clip, there was someone tied to the side of that biplane. You can see right now that that was Trudy True Love, and she falls off of the side of that plane and survives. Got out of the 
That clip which I put at the beginning of this vlog was from a farmer who got into a plane and of course it was a skit for him to just get into it, start it up, and then fly it. Which he ends up flying it safely to the ground but I missed it because my camera ran out of battery. But it was just a funny little thing and I decided to uh, put it into the first second so it would drag the viewer in. This plane here is a German triplane. The name of this plane is Fokker, which is a World War II fighter aircraft made by the Germans. You spell the name F-O-K-K-E-R. There were only 320 of these planes made during 1917. This plane could go 115 miles per hour at sea level the plane would be mounted with two machine guns to shoot down other planes because it was a fighter pilot. There was only one person allowed in the plane because it was a one-seater. Some people might be thinking, what's the difference between a monoplane, a biplane, and a triplane? Well, a monoplane has one wing so it goes through the air with less drag, but a biplane had more lift. And that's what they wanted to try for with the triplane, that it would have a lot more lift, but it end up having wings that would just fall off or break apart mid-flight, which wouldn't be good because they were built on having three wings. Give him a kiss. Here goes the Baron. One more time and you will get a kiss. Hope the sun's in his eye. He oh! <laughs> there it goes. All throughout the day, I got pictures of the planes and of some insects around the place, so I thought I'd just put them up in a slideshow here. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you've made it to this point in the video, make sure to tell me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed, if you have any recommendations on what I should do, be sure to tell me. I was thinking of doing animation or speed art or something like that in the coming future. Tell me if you like that idea. Thank you, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment.